This January, Disney Plus is the home to new stories, new journeys, and new beginnings, with Disney's national treasure, Edge of History, as well as Star Wars Bad Batch Season 2 for the older kids in your family. Months have passed since the events on Kamino and the Bad Batch continue their journey navigating the Empire after the fall of the Republic. I'm definitely looking forward to that new national treasure show for one of our Friday family movie nights to cuddle up on the couch with some popcorn. All these and more streaming this month only on Disney+. Plus. Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! The sun was setting on the Namibian bush where Penny the pangolin lived. She (sighs) yawned and flicked her long tongue and shook her scaly body as her mom stirred beside her. You know, if you could peek into Penny's underground home, you might be surprised to see that she is not a lizard or snake or any other reptile. (laughs) She is actually a mammal. Pangolins are the only scaly mammal in the whole world. If you want to know what Penny looks like, just close your eyes and picture a pine cone with four legs. Wait, a what? (laughs) Yes, a a pine cone (laughs) with four legs, a long tail, and a pointy snout. Wow, have you ever seen a pine cone with legs before? I definitely haven't. Are you ready, Penny? Asked her mom. I think so, but I'm a little, a little scared, she replied. What What if I get lost? It was an important night for Penny. She was going above ground for the very first time. Yeah, up until now, Penny had stayed safe inside her cozy burrow while her mom went to find bugs to eat. This time, Penny was old enough to go along. Trying something new can be scary, replied her mom. Just remember that I will be with you the whole time. You can also curl up into a ball to protect yourself. Your scales are strong like armor. Okay, Mom. Uh, Let's do this, Penny said. She took a big, deep breath and instantly uh, felt a little bit braver. Penny slowly followed her mom out of the burrow and into the night. She was glad that there was some light coming from the moon and stars in the sky. Climb up, Penny. I will do the walking for both of us, said her mom. Penny climbed up onto her mother's tail and used her long front claws to hold on tight. As the pair set off through the bush, Penny was stunned. There was so much to hear and see and and even smell above ground. Mom, what are those tall sticks with green hair? Penny asked. (laughs) Those are trees, my dear, replied Mama Pangolin. What about all that swish, swishing I hear? Penny asked again. She was so curious. Oh, that is the wind moving through the grass, her mama explained. What's grass? asked Penny excitedly. Mama Pangolin laughed and asked Penny to please save the rest of her questions for when they got home. It was hard to hunt and talk at the same time. You got it, Mama. Less talky, more wacky. It seemed like they had been walking forever when Mama Pangolin stopped suddenly. I smell some tasty ants. 
Oh, yes, because penguins are nocturnal animals. They have a great, amazing sense of smell that helps them locate insects even when it's super dark outside. Hold on tight, Penny. We need to go through these thorny bushes to get to our yummy dinner. Mom, what's uh? <laughs> Before Penny could ask what a thorny bush was, she was knocked off her mom's back by one of the thorns. Ugh! Went Penny as she hit the ground. She got to her feet. Oh dear, and was horrified to realize that her mama was nowhere in sight. Oh no, oh, this is exactly what I was afraid of. This is my biggest fear. What am I gonna do? Just when she thought things couldn't get any worse, she noticed, oh dear, a soft, crunching noise. As she stood there shaking, the noise kept getting closer and louder. Crunch, 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 crunch. Penny's mind raced as she thought about what could be making that sound. Maybe it's a lion with sharp teeth. Or maybe it's an elephant with stompy feet. Or maybe it's a big, scary monster. Penny did not want to meet another animal in the middle of the dark without her mom. You see, pangolins are shy. They don't like to spend a lot of time with other critters. They prefer to hunt, uh, explore, and even live alone. Do you like spending time by yourself? Or do you like spending time with your friends and family? Well, although penguins enjoy their family time, they especially love their alone time. I wish I had a place to hide from whatever's making that noise, Penny said to herself. Just then, she remembered what her mom had told her earlier. So Penny tucked her in her arms and curled up her tail and turned into a little scaly ball. She closed her eyes tight and hoped with all of her might that her armor would keep her safe. Oh dear, where is that scary noise coming from? What happened to Penny's mom? Will the two penguins ever get their dinner? I'm not sure what's going to happen next, my friends. We are going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Wow, looks like we're already back to the show. Hey friends, I want to give some special shout outs to some critter protectors. I want to say hey to Isaac Jonah and Bethany from North Carolina, Elizabeth from Texas, Ada from Pennsylvania, oh, and hey, Camden, and Aaron from New York, and Lecky and Hooney from Utah. I'm so glad that you're all critter protectors. We could not protect all the critters in the world without you, my friends. Well, you all have a super duper day, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye! This January, Disney Plus is the home to new stories, new journeys, and new beginnings with Disney's national treasure, Edge of History, as well as Star Wars Bad Batch Season 2 for the older kids in your family. Months have passed since the events on Kamino and the Bad Batch continue their journey navigating the Empire after the fall of the Republic. I'm definitely looking forward to that new national treasure show for one of our Friday family movie nights to cuddle up on the couch with some popcorn. All these and more streaming this month only on Disney+. Plus.